You ever twist your ankle inwards? If you have, you almost certainly have a spasm in the fibularis longus. I'm gonna show you how to deal with that. Stay tuned. The fibularis longus is a muscle that runs along the side of the lower leg. You have two bones in your lower leg. You have the tibia, this main bone that we think of as the shin, and then the fibula is the more lateral bone. They kind of go down like this. On the side of the fibula, you have a muscle that's appropriately named fibularis longus. There's a couple others, fibularis brevis, tertius, but those aren't as important. Fibularis longus, you can actually feel, if you feel up here, there's a little bony prominence on the side of your leg called the head of the fibula, or the fibular head. If I go a little bit below that, straight down, I'm gonna push onto the fibula bone and between the bone and my thumb is a little stringy muscle. That muscle has an important function. It's, one, it's really the main muscle that does eversion, which is pointing the sole of your foot outward. So if you've ever had an injury where your ankle rolled inward and inverted, this muscle likely went into a protective spasm afterwards. And then one of the reasons that ankle sprains have such a high rate of recurrence is that once that muscle, fibularis longus, goes into that protective spasm, it gets really stiff. It's pulling as hard as it can to try to keep your ankle from going inward. But we want your ankle to be able to go inward and outward, and we want to be able to self-correct. So we have to address that stiffness in the fibularis longus, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The foam roller is really effective for this one. What I wanna do is set the foam roller here, and I'm going to basically just sit as though I'm sitting cross-legged with my lower leg on top of the foam roller. I'm gonna just move up and down a little bit to find just below that fibular head where the muscle starts, I'm gonna find where I have a little bit of sensitive tissue. Once I've found that, I can kind of smush back and forth and make sure I'm on the most sensitive or stiffest spot. I mean, it's about right there. And then the muscle action for fibularis longus is plantar flexion, it points the toe and turns the sole of the foot outward. So I'm gonna contract on the in-breath, point my toe, try to turn my foot outward, and then I'm gonna stretch on the out-breath, pull my toes up and turn my sole inward. Sole of my foot, not my sole. Breathe in, contract, point the toe down and out, breathe out, stretch it, pull it up and in. And this muscle can be really, really stiff, really, really painful. You may need to just take a few deep breaths, try to relax, do some contract relax even without the movement before you get into this tack and stretch. But once I get that spot to relax a little bit, I'm just gonna work my way down. Breathe in, contract, down and out. Breathe out, stretch it up and in. And I'll just do a few rounds on each spot. As I work my way down. And what you'll notice is that every time you move the foam roller, it feels a lot more stiff because you've gotten that spot you were working on before to relax a little bit. Okay, there we go. Really quick one, not too much work. What you'll find is that after you do that, you'll be able to, because that muscle contributes to plantar flexion, it points the toe, you'll be able to dorsiflex better, get your knee forward in the bottom of the squat. And also, it should just feel a lot less stiff and relaxed on the outside of your shin. All right, give it a try. Post in the comments, let me know how it goes, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.